My name is indeed Innocent Mvula Yakata. It's quite uh, phonetical. Uh, the meaning is rain has stopped. Uh, oh, brilliant. <laughs> yes. What a good name. <laughs> The Heritage Lottery Fund is all about access, as is often the case with funding. Um, the preservation is, is the means to provide access, um, and we need to provide access to as much of this material as possible to the general public. We uh, provide support to members with, uh, uh, with difficulties, with financial difficulties. We believe that this proximity with the archives that we are working with on a daily basis first a social responsibility from our side because we are doing our business in the community and it's just a normal way to return some of what we earn in this uh, activity to the archives. So David Woodley Packard is the son of David Packard who was Hewlett Packard founder. He spent another 150 million dollars and he built a Greek stoa also known as um, the Packard Humanities Institute and UCLA Film and Television Archive. I, I'm saying that guy's changed our world a lot. So our customers are um, the archives, the museums, the city um, archives, uh, the heritage libraries. So what we're really doing is kind of um, formulating a kind of a coordinated national approach. We realized that we also had to foreground the idea of value, because otherwise it was too easy for someone to say, yeah, I can see that the stuff is falling apart and you can't get the machines, but, but who cares? can be controversial, why would um, a public body be using lottery money to help commercial entities? Because, as, as we all know, archives can have locked away content that just won't get seen by anybody unless in those organisations it makes the commercial threshold. The benefit, uh, I think, of uh, AMIA is it, is it is a group of individual archivists and they come to the organization and to the conference with the idea of trying to do things just with, with each other. And one thing that they did that, that just sort of grew out of the conference is a, a, a few of them show up a day before the conference and they've reached out uh, into the community where the conference takes place to find an organization that needs some help. And they go and help. I think that's a really interesting theme that I'm hearing across is what are the stakeholders for these collections and how do you make sure they know their stakeholders? Well, my thing about preservation, are we worrying about archives at risk? Well yes, we need to, but actually shouldn't we be worrying about identity at risk? Shouldn't we be worrying about governments which are able to, to re-remember our pasts for us wholesale? Shouldn't we be worrying about uh, criminal proceedings which are thrown into disrepute after generations because of some new piece of evidence or some new piece of scientific uh, methodology? We don't do the advocacy. The other things we want to achieve, uh, to my mind, uh, aren't going to happen. So let's, let's be friends, let's be partners and allies in each other's advocacy work. Uh, and let's uh, work together, let's stop everything else we're doing uh, and create those great narratives that we can all take advantage of. <laughs>